talking quite quiet because it's really really early in the morning here the sun is just coming up so i don't want to be talking too loud and waking everyone up but yeah we've come to mexico for a little holiday i am so so excited to be here we're just gonna have like a really nice relaxing chilled out time we arrived yesterday and um, i didn't vlog anything because we arrived at the hotel like quite late and we were really really tired it was a really long day traveling so we just kind of went for food unpacked and went to bed so we'll start in the vlog fresh today we're here for 10 days so i am gonna do like a vlog of the holiday i'm not quite sure how it's gonna go though um, obviously when we went to Florida I did like a daily vlog every single day I don't think it's going to be the same sort of idea here because like I say we are going to be like chilling out and relaxing so a lot of the time is just going to be spent like on the beach and by the pool so I don't really know how much exciting stuff there is going to be to show you but we have got like a few trips and nights out and stuff planned so I'm definitely going to pick the camera up for those and yeah just kind of like dip in and out of the vlog so it might be like one long vlog it might be two parts I'm not too sure yet but yeah I hope you enjoy coming along with us and like I say it is our first day today it is what is the time it's half past six in the morning nice and early we're just kind of going to take today to like suss everything out and kind of find where everything is we've not decided whether we're going to go to the pool or the beach yet not too sure but first things first i think we're going to head down to the beach and have a little look now and kind of watch the sun coming up and then head for some breakfast. I'll quickly show you the view from our balcony as well because we have actually got like a really nice view. We're on the seventh floor so we're quite high up and we've got the pool and the beach there and the sun is coming up over there. Do you want to say hello to the vlog? Good morning everybody. You excited to be in Mexico? Yeah. What are you looking forward to most about this holiday? Just being able to relax. Relax. Eat loads and get drunk every day. Fair enough. <laughs> Chill out, yeah. I don't know how well it's showing up on camera, but the sky is like kind of pink at the moment. It's really, really nice actually. Half six in the morning and the sea is warm. Oh, it's gonna be so so good. So we found some hammocks on the beach. See if you can get into it without falling over. Do you want me to swing you? <laughs> you look really funny in that. <laughs> So we've just been and had breakfast, it was really nice actually. Yeah. I had smoked salmon, scrambled eggs and hash browns and then pomegranate as like a kind of pudding. And then what did you have? You had a bit of a mixture didn't you? Um, I had a ham and cheese for toasting and like eggs, salmon, cheese, bacon, parmesan, bacon, eggs as well. You just had a bit of everything but you should see like the pancake spread they have. They have normal pancakes, banana pancakes chocolate chip, blueberry, waffles, french toast, they have all the toppings so I feel like that is definitely going to be dangerous. We're heading back to the room now, we're going to get all of our stuff for the pool, get some sun cream on and then we're going to head down and find a spot. I'm looking for crocodiles. Oh yeah there's this lagoon like opposite the hotel and they have um, saltwater crocodiles and Scott's convinced that he saw one yesterday on the bus to the hotel so keeping an eye out so we have picked our spot for the day it is still really quiet it's like half eight and there's hardly anyone down by the pool yet and um, which i guess is a good thing like it doesn't seem like the type of place where everyone gets down really early to like reserve beds there's still like so many available so that's really really good but we picked this spot like kind of by the infinity pool like onto the beach so i think it's quite nice so this is like our view so the pool is there and then the beach farther down there i think this is going to be quite a good spot Scott is already set up for the day. Gonna move from there at all today or is that you now? 
bar. <laughs> Just to go sit in the bar. Yeah. <laughs> so Scott has got ordered this cocktail. What did he say was in it? Lots of liquor and chocolate. It's like vodka and Baileys and like a few other things as well. It looks really nice. It smells good. It smells, definitely smells like Baileys. Let's do a taste test of it. See oh, what he no, thinks. It's like frozen. Oh yeah. Looks nice that to be fair. What are your thoughts? Nice actually. Nice. So we have moved down to the beach for the afternoon. I could feel myself getting burnt sitting up by that pool. I don't know if you can see it or not. But I feel like really, really red. We didn't have any shade up there. So we moved down to the beach to kind of get a little bit of shade. This is my current view. Very, very nice. It's a nice sunny day today. Now we've got Scott here on the side. Hey guys, I've got some sunglasses from Lucky Lucky Man because I forgot mine. He Left forgot them in the car. to bring his sunglasses, so he bought some knockoff Ray Bans. We've been and had lunch. It was really nice actually. They had like these tacos, these chicken tacos, which were really, really nice. So yeah, we're just gonna stay here for the rest of the afternoon. I think I might start reading my book. So I bought this before I came my policeman so harry styles is going to be in the film version of this and it's coming out soon i think it's on amazon prime on like the 4th of november or something so i thought i would buy the book and read the book before seeing the film but it's supposed to be like a really really good storyline so yeah i'm gonna start reading this and i'll let you know what i think of it when i go and um, yeah i think it's gonna be quite good so it's a little bit later on now and we're up in the room, we've had a shower, freshened up and got ready for the night. We didn't really film much today just because we didn't really do much. Um, we were just chilling, kind of chilling, it? sunbathing, went in the sea, went in the pool and we both got a little bit burned, didn't we? We did have sun cream on though, which is really annoying, but um, yeah, we're a little bit red and sore today, so we'll probably be in the shade tomorrow. Heading out for some food, and this hotel has got, like, it's got a main buffet, and then it's got, like, is it five? A la carte restaurants. restaurants. So there's a steakhouse, an Italian, a Mexican, a Japanese, and a gourmet. gourmet. So we're gonna try one of those a la carte restaurants tonight. We're thinking steak, Definitely. steakhouse. We do both like a little bit of steak, so I think we're gonna head there for tonight and then we'll probably just watch the entertainment in the hotel and then yeah, hopefully we won't be too tired because um, we were pretty obviously we were up really really early this morning because of jet lag. So hopefully we'll be able to kind of stay awake a little bit longer tonight. I'm gonna actually quickly show you the room as well because I don't think I did that um the other day. I don't think I mentioned but we're staying in the Rio Palace Peninsula. So this is our room. So you come in, this is the balcony here. Then you come in, balcony, we've got a seating area there with all the Scots masks there. What a surprise. And then we've got two beds. And then walk along here, we've got some storage. We've got a drinks cabinet, which is handy. We've got a bath that's kind of like in the middle of the room, which is a little bit weird. And then we've got toilet and that is the shower like in there. So it is like a little bit of a weird setup. It's kind of like a bit like everything's all in one room, but it's really nice and it's really big as well. So this is going to be our home for the next 10 days. So yeah, I just kind of quickly thought I would show you that before we head out. And um, this is also what I'm wearing tonight. So I've got on this little cord from Boohoo. You can see my red belly there. Very, very sore. We're heading out for some food now, so we'll see you in a little bit. So we've come to the steakhouse and we've both gone for the same. So we've got surf and turf, which is steak and shrimp. Scott's got his over there and then we've got some fries to share. Really looking forward to this now, to be fair. Really hungry and this looks really, really nice. Is it good? And then for pudding, we both have chocolate cake. This looks massive to be fair. It looks really, really good. Scott's enjoying it. <laughs> Five layers, wow. It does look nice. So we've been and had tea. Oh, we, yeah. <laughs> we went to the steakhouse and I really enjoyed it. You weren't that impressed, were you? No, I'm a steak lover and we asked for it medium rare and it comes solid and brown. Yeah, I asked for my medium and it came well done. Um, but I, I still enjoyed it. We both had the surf and turf. I thought the shrimp was really nice. It was nice. Um, and we got these like massive bits of chocolate cake as well for pudding. So it was good. It was I nice. enjoyed it. It's alright. It tasted good anyway. Yeah, it, it was nice. Wasn't what you wanted from a steak gaff. 
always has to complain about something and um, but yeah we've come down to the beach now we were gonna go to the entertainment in the hotel but it's really really busy and there's no tables so we've come down to the beach we're chilling in this little hammock i feel like we're gonna fall over at any point we've got a little drink scott's got a beer and i've gone for a baileys which is really really weird for me i saw someone else get one earlier and i was like you know what that's what i want tonight so got a little baileys chilling in the hammock place your bets now how long is it going to take for one of us to fall out with this I've had about 16 more beers than Lisa has. Yeah, he's he's on his way to being drunk, let's just say that. Because we had to wait for like an hour and a half for the table, I just sat there drinking, listening to the woman play the piano. <laughs> Shoes ruined, covered in sand. <laughs> what are you doing? You're going to fall out with that. Come and rock me, I'm not. So we are going out for the day today. We're taking ourselves on a little trip. And we're going over to this little island which is like off the coast of Cancun. It's called Isla Mujeres. So you can actually see it from the balcony. I'll quickly show you. I don't know how well it's showing up on the camera, but like here is where we're going. So we have been to Mexico before and last time we were here, we went over there and it was honestly just like the nicest little island. The <laughs> the beaches are like really really nice and it's just like how would you describe it it's so like relaxed and chilled isn't it yeah it's like paradise yeah it's literally just like a little paradise island so we're heading over there for the day today there's a little ferry that runs across from cancun so i think it's just like a five minute walk from our hotel so we're gonna hop on the ferry go over there i think it's only like 20 dollars per person return so it's not it's not too expensive at all and i think it only takes like half an hour and then once we're there, we're gonna hire a golf cart to drive around for the day. And yeah, we've not really got any like specific plans. We're just gonna drive around and see where the day takes us, I think. But we're both really, really looking forward to it. Big blue and yellow. Yeah. or something so we're trying to find somewhere now there's quite a few places that look quite good so we've come to this little bar on the beach for some lunch and um, i've literally got no idea what it's called um, but it's quite nice actually we've ordered some things to share so we've got shrimp tacos lobster tacos and chicken quesadillas and we're just going to share it all scott has got a beer and i've got a pina colada so i'm looking forward to it i'm really really happy now actually so it should be good so this is where we are, we're on the beach here, got a nice little table. Um, the bar is there with some, with some swings, 
and then there's more seating inside. And then there's some live music there, which you can probably hear. So we've actually got a lot more than what we thought we were gonna get. And these are the chicken quesadillas here, shrimp tacos, and lobster tacos. I guess so between two people, it's not really like that much. So yeah smells really good so I'm sure it's gonna taste really nice as well. So it is quite a lot later on now and we are back from our little trip to Isla Mujeres. We had a really nice like relaxing chilled out day. It is such a nice little island. If you're coming on holiday to Mexico I would definitely recommend taking a little trip across. It's definitely worth it and it is so easy to get there as well. The ferry literally takes like 20 minutes from the Cancun hotel zone. It is so quick so easy and then once you get there it's really really easy to hire a golf buggy as well I think it cost us like $50 for the full day so it's not too bad and um, it kind of gets you around and like I said we had it for the full day as well we just kind of drove around did a little bit of exploring and we chilled quite for quite a while on that beach as well that we showed you so yeah it was a really nice relaxing day but we are back at the hotel now and we're a bit more dressed up ready for the night we're heading to the buffet tonight I think we're not really feeling too hungry so yeah I think we're just gonna go to the buffet get a little something from there and then apparently there is a beach party at our hotel tonight so we're gonna have a little look and see what that's all about before we head out I will quickly show you there's Scott in the back <laughs> I'll quickly show you what I'm wearing so I've got on this little lime play suit tonight so this is but this is from Tea by Sophie and actually I really really like it to be fair and I've got some little gold wedges on with it as well are you ready for the beach party Yes, I am. Do you want to show everyone how you're going to dance? Woo! <laughs> It should be illegal to be up at this time when you're on holiday. So we are up bright and early this morning. I am very, very tired. But we are heading to Chichen Itza for the day. We booked like this excursion through Tui, so it's like a full day thing. They pick you up at the hotel, take you there. Um, we're gonna see Chichen Itza, which is one of the wonders of the world. They take you to a cenote for like swimming. So that's like a, like a, it's like an underground like cave swimming pool thing. It looks really, really cool to be fair. And then in the afternoon they take you a little tour around a Mayan village. So yeah, that is kind of the plan for today. I am looking forward to it and I think it's going to be like interesting to see it all and stuff. But this is not fun getting up this early. The coach is picking us up at 4.30. So very, very early to be awake when you're on holiday. Hopefully it'll be worth it. It's like a three and a half hour drive to get there. So hopefully we'll be able to kind of sleep a little bit on the bus on the way there and just kind of catch up on a little bit of sleep. But it should be good. And I know Scott's really excited for it as well. He's like on a mission to see all of the seven wonders of the world. So he's really, really excited for today. But yeah, it should be, should be a fun day. Just kind of need to get over this initial tiredness, I think. <laughs> Chichen Itza. The bus was like really long, wasn't it? Like four hours and then 
we started going. So we got on a, a small minibus, yeah. went to a big coach, and, and then, then after we changed on the coach, the guy who was in our minibus had left his phone, so we had to wait. Very, very long, but um, I did manage to get a little bit of sleep, so kind of helped the time pass a little bit quicker. We had a little guided tour by the guy who's like on our coach and he's been telling us like all the information about it all and it's really interesting actually isn't it it's basically like a massive site for like human sacrifice pretty much and astronomy and astronomy and we've got some free time now so we're just gonna have a little wa wander around get some pictures and then where are we headed next the mayan, mayan village. village i think that's the next stop on the tour some so food and a wander around yeah so yeah Should that'll be, be fun so it's actually like a lot bigger and there's a lot more to see than what i thought like i thought it was just gonna be like that like main temple thing but it's actually like a whole like massive area 35 kilometers there's a lot to see to be fair definitely gonna be getting my steps in today <laughs> On the way to the cenote i'm really excited to see what this is going to be like actually i've got a feeling it's going to be absolutely freezing though isn't it cold water doesn't really affect me yeah i'm not a fan but i am looking forward to it i think it's going to be really nice to see and hopefully it won't be too cold but it's supposed to be really deep as well the guy was saying it's 25 meters deep and that kind of makes me a bit nervous if anyone's seen the film what is it called 47 meters down yeah on netflix then you'll know why <laughs> Oh, this is massive. Yeah. Is it cold? Oh, yeah. It's all right, when you get in, come on. Oh, well done. Well done. <laughs> So we are back from our day, our little trip to Chichen Itza. It's been a long day, hasn't it? Yeah. Although I don't actually feel as tired as I thought I would. I thought I was going to be like dead tonight. But we were both saying that like we actually feel like okay, don't feel we? feel alright, yeah. So we've had a few beers and then I'll probably be on my back. <laughs> How did you find it? What would you think of the day? What did you think of the day? I um, thought it was good. I, I like all that type of stuff. Lisa's not a massive fan of it. I mean, yeah, it was okay. The only reason we went was because Scott wanted to go. I think I would probably rather just stayed at the hotel. But, like, I did enjoy it. Like, it was nice to see it. And I really enjoyed swimming in the cenote as well. Yeah. That was fun. I got this skull today. Um, this is for Los Deus. What's, What's it called? Skull? From Coco? Los Deus del Muentes. Nearly. What is it? I think it's called Los Dias de los Muertos. Oh, last day, last, uh, but it's no, no, the no, day no. of the dead. Day of the dead. <laughs> anyway, so I've got that. They actually had a full um, Coco family, which was quite Yeah, good. they did. They had like the little grandma, didn't but they? I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy that. I'm not sure how much footage I got. I didn't really like film that much. I think when you're like in like a guided tour, it's quite hard to film. But I, I did take like a few little clips, so you'll have seen those. But yeah, we are heading out for some food now. We are just going... <laughs> this is also from yesterday at Ila Mahérez, which is the island of women. I found a full, a full. Um, There's nothing in it though. There's nothing in it. I got excited when I was down there because I thought there was going to be a pearl, but no. Just a shell. Nice little souvenir though. <laughs> but yeah we are heading out for some food now we're just gonna go to the buffet tonight and then i think there's a mexican show on at the hotel so we'll probably just sit and watch that let's get phoebe buffet what <laughs> We've just had a downpour. It's the first bit of rain that we've had since we got here. It was so heavy, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so we came down this morning. We went for breakfast and stuff, came down to the beach, and it was nice and sunny. And then within like 15 minutes, it just started absolutely chucking it down. Everything got soaked. But it only lasted like 20 minutes. And as you can see, it's nice and sunny again now. So hopefully it'll be like this for the rest of the day. We're going to try and get on some jet skis, I think, today. I'm really looking forward to it, actually. But I'm kind of also a bit nervous because Scott likes to go really, really really fast 
Um, I'm a speed demon. So yeah, we'll see how that goes, but it should be should be good. We're by the beach today. It's quite smooth today as well, so we have to go extra fast. Extra Just fast. What was that? It's like standing on bloody. <laughs> Um, like on plugs. Um, yeah, the plan for today, we're just kind of by the beach and yeah, we're just gonna have another nice chill day. So we are on our way. How long do you get? Is it half an hour? Half an hour. Half an hour. Don't go too fast. All right. <laughs> Sun is coming up, are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow. Your will is my law, I'ma let you be the boss cause I'll go where you go. And the water out there is like so blue, isn't it? It's like proper turquoise and clear. Yeah, it's like, it's like drawing a mirror, it's that like clean. I know, it's so, so nice. Yeah. yeah, that was a lot of fun. 